And there's a whole bunch of, whole bunch of pteranodons. <gasps> what? You gotta be kidding me. You got to be kidding. You seriously, what? Did, I don't even have the kibble with me, do I? I don't have the kibble. I have to tame this 120 pteranodon. I will be back with you. Hey there folks, Mazion reporting for duty, and today we're gonna go out and get ourselves a high level pteranodon. Hopefully we'll get like a 1 112, 116, 120, something like that. That's the that's the hope. But we're gonna take out medium mumming today to try to find one so we can kind of zoom zoom around and uh, locate one easily. I don't need to get prime because we got tons and tons of kibble on us, and maybe we'll find a Mesopithecus instead. I'm not sure. We last time we set out to do this, we got Paradigm instead, which was a 120 Rex. It was definitely worth it. But I would like to find a nice high-level Pteranodon. I love taxis. I love to be taxied around on super fast Pteranodons, and that's gonna be something that I need to get done. So I'm gonna search the coast and the rivers all around the Ark today try to find one so when I find one we'll be back with you all right so as you can see I am no longer on uh, medium whelming I'm on massacre and we're going back towards poop city and the reason is I found a 116 spino over there and I really wanted to rush so I rushed back to the base I had to make more narcotics so I've got 320 narcotic I've got 110 darts and I've got the extra 50 backup arrows and it looks like I had three on the RG2, but it's a beautiful Spino. I'm really hoping that it's there when we get back. I found a 92 Pteranodon over in that direction, but I'm really looking for something high level. I'd really love to have like a 112, 116, 120 in that range. But Spino is in this direction. It's out in front of Monkey Farms base, and I hope that we can get over there, grab it up, and uh, make it our own. I'm, I'm really nervous that it won't be there or someone else will be have found it you know what i mean like start taming it up but i'll let you know as soon as we get to the spino all right there he is folks or she i'm not sure are you here or she it's a male there's a male spino right here we're gonna have to find a way to pew pew it without getting hurt so i think i'm gonna have to try to bring it over hey what's up guy hey, you want to chomp on me a little bit maybe Maybe I should help you with these dilos. Get them out of your way a little bit. Because I'm going to need to pew pew you in the face a lot. And I'm going to need to find a way to get you to s get you stuck to do it. Hey, what's up, Spino guy? Yeah, eat me a little bit. That's okay. I don't mind. Oh, wow. I'd have to, like, I can't even use this ledge right here. What can I do? What can I do? And he's just going to eat everything. It's going to be really difficult to get him... What time of day is it? It's getting late. We're gonna gamma up. Gamma three. All right. Let's see what we can do. I don't. I don't know where the best place to shoot the spino from is gonna be. We can't really get in its snout range. Snout range. You heard it here first. That's a technical term. Oh, there's a dymo on it. Man, we need it to live. We don't want the dymo to kill it. Oh, it killed the Dymo. Good, 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 good. Hey there, Spino guy. No, don't go into the water. No. No, 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 no. Come back here. Okay, I hit you a little bit. That's okay. You don't mind, right? All right, now I want you to bite me a little bit. Yeah, thanks. Oh, I got the K-menu open. That was almost disastrous. I call it the K-menu. I don't know why. Come on, bite me a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm Nami. I'm, I'm tasty, like a treat. See if I can get you stuck. Ah, oh, stupid trike. Always stuff in the way of what I'm trying to accomplish. So I'm going to try to get this guy into a place where I can pew pew him in the face so we can tame it up. And I will be back with you once we've got it in that position. All right, so I've got this spino guy. He's running around trying to kill everything still. And I'm trying to get him stuck right down here. And I'm just kind of pew pewing him from afar to let him know I'm still a thing. Oh, man, I put a lot of darts into him while he was fighting over there. But we're going to continue to just try to lead him back over to that ledge right next to Monkey Farm's wall. Because um, it seems to be the closest, easiest place where I don't think he'll drown. We're going to try to help this guy take out this trike. 
Then we're gonna hit it like this and be like, hey, I'm a thing. Come attack me. And we've killed almost all of the things in this area. Come take a bite. Just see how I taste. That's right. Take another bite, maybe? Maybe another bite? Oh, it's right. Yeah, I'm yummy. All right, now you come over here and I'm gonna come up right here on this ledge. And I'm just gonna hope that this is gonna work. So far, so good. Shoot him in the tail. So yeah, this looks like a plan. I'm pew pewing it. I'm worried that it's gonna, it, this, I'm worried that that's what it's gonna do. Where you going? Where you going, Spinal Guy? Where you going, Spinal Guy? Come back! Stupid runaway mechanic. You know you want to fight me. Oh, yeah, eat me a little bit. That's good. Come on. Come on. Let's do the same thing again. Oh no, that over raptor is not tasty. Oh man. See this tasty over raptor? How about you just eat that? And I will continue to pew pew you. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Come back. Such a pain. I can't find a good place to do this from. You're in the deep water now. I'm just going to keep putting some torpor on him. What is down there? He's fighting trikes? What a jerk. Such a pain in the butt jerk. So hopefully, I'm going to keep continuing this process. And we'll get him down sooner rather than later. And it's down, folks! Man, this plan worked. It was a wicked, wicked pain in the butt. Like a super duper, super pain. Like I can't even tell you how much of a pain it was. It was that much of a pain. But what I'm gonna do right now is I'm kind of weary about it. So I wanna put some spiked walls up around here, maybe. Uh, I'm thinking that's probably a good idea. Do I have high? I don't know, we're gonna figure it out. I'm gonna find an enclosure to put around this. We're gonna start monitoring its torpor right away. Oh, I've got the narcotic on me. Corporal is going to drop like a rock. So, I'm going to keep those on there. Keep watching it. Build something around it. Get some prime. We'll be working on this thing. All right, so we're coming back on our team. I put a little wall around it uh, towards that area because I think that's where the danger is most likely going to come from. We've got it mostly enclosed. And I com I'm coming back with a real lot of prime meat. A real lot. So let's start dropping that stuff onto the ground. Boom, 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 boom. And I need to look at the torpor of the Spino since you have to monitor it so closely. It's such a pain in the butt. Man, all of the mates. So much prime. Prime for days. Days and days and days and days. Days and days. Man. That is a lot of prime meat, folks. It's a super, super amount. I'm going to grab most of it up. Check out the spinal torpor. Torpor is great. I fed it, I don't know, a little over 3,000s. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nope, nope, that's bad. Do not kill Argentavis on spiked wall. Must feed Argentavis in a moment. Wow, that's a lot of prime. But we're going to get it on there. Hopefully, do a number on his taming meter. All right, here we go. Ready for this? I'm ready. Speed Prime! All right, so it's got a lot of Prime on it. Like, a real lot. Timers are all pretty high. And it did not increase its taming all that much, but... I think we're going to be good for a while. We might have to go out for another round of Prime. I don't, I'm not really sure when that'll be. And so, I'm going to put some more narcotic on it. It's already starting to lower. We're down by about 1,000, so I'm going to feed it 800's worth. I'll feed it 20. And then I'll just kind of sit here and monitor it. I'm really psyched, super psyched, to have this, this guy up. So, pretty soon, we will be having our own Spinal this season. Woo! All right, so I've done all the things. We've got our our spiked wall up. I'm going to have to start ripping that down right away. 
And this should take one to two more feedings. I'm not exactly sure how much it's going to be. Now, this is the second day in a row that I've gone out to tame a Pteranodon or a Mesopithecus or something. And then tamed some other big carnivore instead. But, you know, that's the way it goes sometimes. you got to take the opportunities that are presented to you. And I was presented a 120 Rex yesterday and a 116 Spino today. Both of which are going to be amazing additions to the Mazion Fortress. Hey, there it is. You tamed the Spinosaurus. And I haven't thought of a name for it yet. Um, last season we had Aquarius and Amphibian and Poseidon, and so I'm going to think of something for it. It's a male, right? Right? We've already got Zeus the Moose, so we can't name it like Zeus. I'll probably do something Greek with it. I haven't really decided yet, like I said. I'm going to grab this stuff off it. We've got 4,900 health, 1,190 stamina, 490 weight, 292% melee damage, and 100% movement speed. So now i got to be a responsible person and break down all my spiked walls, uh, since we are right right in front of monkey farms base it would not be nice to leave these spike walls here uh although i guess they're just kind of like more protection for the beach he can get hurt on his own spiked walls but so i want to lead this guy all the way back to the base we've got plenty of silica pearls for the saddle i don't remember off the top of my head what the other ingredients for the saddle recipe are but we're definitely going to make a saddle on it and we're going to go ride it around because i love me some spinos favorite dino ever and how about you carry this wood that I just put there? We'll bring that back to the base. That sounds like a good idea. And it's going to be very easy to lead it back home. Let's uh, whistle passive on it. Because these guys, they just like jump over everything. And when we get back to the base, we'll say hi to the Spino. All right, so we've got the Spinosaurus back to the base. And I've decided upon a name for it. Change name as... Gemini. So this spinal's name is Gemini. Say hello to Gemini, everybody. Let's, let's have a good look at Gemini. Come here. I don't know if that was quite a good look, but we're going to go make a saddle for it. Let's have a look and see what that's going to cost us. Got all kinds of solo pearls on here, so that's no problem. Saddles. Where's the spino? Megalo. Brain. Spino. I just need some hide. Look at that. Boom. Spinal saddle. No problem at all. Already taken care of. Awesome. So now we can put the spinal saddle right on it. Actually, we need to make it amazing. So do I have the, the, mm, I don't think I got the die for that. We might have to make some die real quick. Tinto berries. Charcoal. Stand in the water. Tinto berries, charcoal. Let's take that stuff off of there. Actually, put some of that on there. Boom! And we can't light the fire without fuel. So we'll get some more dye for this thing. Let's get you out of the smithy. And I found a stego egg while I was out gallivanting. Boom! Got some eggs. You must have some red. Yep, got red. Perfect. More red. Perfect. That's all we need. Oh, take all. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to put the fire out. There we go. Put that stuff back in there. Saddleize the saddle. Maisie and I. Maisie on if I make it good. Now, I think I might I think I might start changing up the way that this is. Let's look at the saddle on the spino. I'm not sure that I like the red strap so much. I guess it's kind of cool, but what if we had it the opposite? What if it was black straps and everything else was red? Let me see. Give me this back. So, this would be black. This would be black. And then everything else would be red, right? Red. 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 Now let's put it on you. I don't know. I think that's kind of more more ballerific. Might have to start changing the way that all the saddles are done. So there we go. We've got this saddle on it. Pretty awesome. Woo! Let's go see get a better look at it. Say hi to Gemini, everybody. What up, Gemini? You're amazing. 
majestic in your majesty. <laughs> okay. So it's going to be time to do some training on this guy. I think I'm going to get it into a more dangerous land, though. So I'll be back with you when we are in a more dangerous land. All right, so nighttime has fallen upon the Ark, and we are at the Poop City Hill. Time to start wrecking some face. Gotten the melee damage up to 350%, and the movement speed is 120 currently. Wow, what level are you? Level 100? That'll give some good levels. Y'all are like, no, tame that. I'm like, no, eat it, because it gives good levels. Nom, nom, nom. Bronto soup. Tastes like yum. And, and levels. Yum and levels. That's what I would describe the taste of this Bronto as. You see... Look, see there, half a level at least. What do you got? Get this up to 400% before we start doing that speed again. That was more than a whole level that we just got from that level 100 Bronto. Worth, what, are, what level are you? 20, good. I almost thought that said 120 for a second when my head was bobbing. Like, ah, oh, I can't kill that. People will get really mad. We got going on in here. Got some hide, right? Got some hide. Got some keratin. Got a vertebra. Drop all this stuff and continue on. Sun is rising on the arc. Man, I really want to run into another Rex. Something. Kill me some formidable opponents. And there's a whole bunch of, whole bunch of pteranodons. <gasps> what? You gotta be kidding me! You got to be kidding! You seriously, what? Did, I don't even have the kibble with me, do I? I don't have the kibble. I have to tame this 120 Tyranodon. I will be back with you. You know what, we're gonna go for it right now. Right now, we're gonna go for it because I don't know what else to do. We've got a couple of piercers over there that are mad at us. Do it. Boom! Where you going? Get it! Oh man. Man, okay, we have to chase it. We gotta chase it. Woo! I don't know if we're gonna find it, man. We're on this slow spino. Where'd it go? Oh man, it might be lost forever. Is that you? Is that you? No, it's not. Where'd it go? Is that it? Is that you? That's a 104. Where the crap did the 120 with Tyranodon go? That's not it. Where did it go? No! No! I can't believe... I can't believe I lost it. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm gonna have to look around and see if we can relocate it. All right, so I've come back to the base, and the main reason for that is to get kibble, but also... I'm gonna get on a pteranodon. We're gonna go try to relocate that 120. What I should have done is just left it. I should have known better than to... My mouse won't go up and down. Mouse, go up and down, please. Thank you. But I should have known better than to uh, try to shoot it. I was hoping that I'd get a headshot and then I missed. Get a head, one head, one in the head and one in the body with a dart. We'll usually take one of those down. So now we're going back on the pteranodon. Man, I'm really, really bummed that I wasn't able to get it. I think I'm feeling like my mammoth and my RG and my pteranodon is slower right now in the game. I don't know if you guys are having the same experience. If you are, say something in the in the comments below. But something changed in the last few days, and I'm not being able to get like the movement speed that I feel like I should out of like my Argentavis. My Argentavis, oh yeah, my Argentavis should be fast enough to uh, chase down a pteranodon. It isn't, but I'm gonna go try to find that 120, and as soon as I do, I'll be with you. All right, I'm back, and I've relocated the 120 Pteranodon right there. It's green. It's like a snot rocket. We've had a, a Pteranodon named Snot Rocket before. So what we're going to do, now that we're on a Pteranodon and we can actually chase it down, is uh, we're going to wait for it to land. I need some stamina on my Pteranodon. I'm going to watch it, wait for it to land, and as soon as it does, we're going to pew-pew it, hopefully once in the face and once in the body. Are you going to land? Are you going to land? Are you going to land? You're landing! So we're going to go after it right now. See if we can get it once in the face and once in the body. 
Oh, in the face. Oh, my mouse freaked out. Oh, I missed the body. Where's my pteranodon? Come on, medium woman. We got to chase that thing. Where'd it go? I see it. We're going to chase it down. Make sure that we stay on it. Oh, it looks like it's already given up. So let's go down. Hopefully it's landing again. Are you landing again? Cool. Maybe we'll shoot it in the face once more. I'm super psyched. Oh, that didn't shoot it at all. Love when the game does that. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. What? Twice. What? Three times? What is going on here? Four times? Something is wrong. This is not right. All right, well, it's definitely down now. Woo! So I still have narcotic on me, do I not? I do have narcotic on me. I've also got kibble on me. Putting the kibble right on it. But not all of it. Putting five kibble down on it. Really, really worried that something's going to come attack it here. Um, I might have to make some spiked walls just to be safe and surround myself in this beautiful pteranodon. Man, I can't believe that we found the 120 that we set out to find yesterday and then set out to find again today. And now we finally have it. And I should have plenty of hide on me to make this with. I do. Do I have fiber? Uh, I've got some. All right, so I'm going to make some spiked walls. We're going to put it all around here, and we're going to wait for this pteranodon to come up. All right, so I've surrounded us in these spiked walls to make sure that we are safe because I don't want anything to happen to this pteranodon. I've been thinking of a name. I've had this name saved for this pteranodon for quite some time, and I'm super happy that we finally got it. The 120, we've got a 120 every season. Uh, last season, we got two 120s, at least, I think, pteranodons. Uh, they fell from the sky last season. Every time I'd be sitting there, I'd be sitting there farming or something. And then all of a sudden, Tranodon would land next to me. I'd look at it. It was 120. It's like, oh my God, time to tame this. Because 120 Tranodon, why would you not? So we've got this Tranodon. It's, it's face. Its face is rough. Man, you don't look happy. You look like you're having a rough day. Eyeballs look pretty ballerific, though. Oh, ballerific. That might be a good name for a pteranodon. Maybe I'll name my, my pteranodon ballerific. I don't know. So we got this uh, ready to eat. It's last kibble. I'm actually going to take this other kibble off of it and throw some meat on there because I'm going to end up flying this pteranodon back and having that one follow because that one will be faster. And I, I don't want to, I hate having to like wait and then go and then wait and then go. So I'd rather just have it follow the slower one. What up, man? You gonna eat that last kibble? I know you want to. Getting pretty close. Pretty soon we'll have this pteranodon up. We're gonna bring it back to the base. We're gonna make a saddle for it. I've already got the saddle off of medium whelming and onto me. We're gonna have to make another saddle because every pteranodon deserves a saddle. Plus they got really old health, so you wanna make sure that they are protected. Right now it's got 882 health 183 percent weight which is pretty low hopefully that gets jacked up 190 percent melee damage and 100 percent movement speed and we're gonna definitely make this a movement pteranodon if we get another 120 this season or another 100 plus we're gonna make a battle one but i love my taxis like i've said before i want this to be a super super fast pteranodon that i can move from base to base with that i can go help people out with when they need me those kind of things when I can I go across the map, check out some of the stuff. You need to eat. Eat now. Gonna eat in about another 10 food or so. It's cool, this snot green color. We had a snot green color one last, uh, wait, no, season one. We called Snot Rocket. It was really high level. I don't know if that was our 120 or not on, on season one. But I'm not gonna name this one Snot Rocket. Not this time. These spiked walls are dangerous. I'm actually going to start taking them down because this thing is going to be up very shortly. I haven't had any dinos come over and try to hurt it. So we're definitely going to get max level out of it. Super excited. Oh, there it is. There it is. Here we go. Maz. Ball Ballerific. Ballerific is the name of our new Pteranodon. 
Say hi to Ballerific, guys. Oh, get out of the way. You're in my shot. What's up, Ballerific? You're Ballerific. So it's got 1,300 health, 870 stamina, 210 weight, 335% melee damage, and 136.5% movement speed. So it's pretty good. Not too bad. I've got five. I got a bunch of spiked walls on me. I'm going to have to drop those. Why did I... What am I doing? No, I want to put the saddle on there. Now, it's saddle-rific. I need to eat or drink or the other. There we go. Super psyched. All right. So I'm going to continue to break down this stuff. And then we're going to bring it back to the base. Bring it out for a little test flight. So we've gotten Ballerific back to the base. And I actually have an apprentice blueprint. I actually made the regular saddle first. And I was like, oh, yeah, I think I've got a blueprint. So I've got all the stuff to make that saddle, too. So I'm going to put this other saddle away and then put the materials that I don't need back. Where are you? You go in there. And apprentice, primitive saddle can go in there. Oh, what's going on? What's going on? No, Ballerific, stop. Stop, Ballerific. Well, I guess, I guess you'll be fine. What else can stop? Krillin, you're late to the party, man. Sheesh. Where did Ballerific go? There you are. I want to get this saddle on it before I, before I lose it. Come out front with me. Mazakur took care of business too. All right. So, do I have the... I've got the red and black dye on me. Well, that's good. Get rid of this stuff now. All this hide doesn't need to be in here. I definitely do not need crossbow and arrows. And kibble can go away. So we still got some stuff to take care of, but that's most of the things. Come here, man. Give me that saddle. We must make it amazing. All right, so that's black. I think that's red. That's... Nope, oh, those are definitely red buckles. That's definitely red, and then black. Oh, perfect. Looks amazing. Boom. Amazing saddle on our Pteranodon. Ballerific. Put this stuff away. Oh, there's an egg on me, too. It's a Pteranodon egg that it dropped as soon as it... Whew. We've got some eggs going for some kibble. It's amazing. Paradigm. Go back over here. Krillin should be... Krillin's like, I don't know what to do. I'm stuck. What do I do? Go around, Krillin. Sheesh. Gemini. We have to fly our new Pteranodon. You can't just get a polarific Pteranodon like this, not fly it. What do I got for weight? 127 into 210. So that's going to be... We're going to be... I've got a trike egg. Crap. Things are weighty. We're going to be working on weight a little bit. 210 is really, really low for anything that I want to fly around. I do not... Do not need something that low. Put some meat in there. Not that there's anything else in there. I'll put some wood in it before I log off. All right, let's go get some levels. Let's go kill something. Let's turn the, the bloom quality down and the light shafts down. I guess it's still bright. What are we going to kill? You ask. Well, what level is this? 32? Probably could get away with it. Ow. You're, why are you whacking me with your tail? Probably going to take a while. Barrel roll is pretty OP, though. All right, already got a rest. Come on, Bronto. I'm over here. Look at all of the dodos. Bet you we could get a level just by killing those. What is it attacking now? It's mad at something else. Attacking something. What did I just get hit by? Oh, it was the tail of the Bronto. Woo! Bronto is a going to be a good first thing to kill on this Pteranodon. 
All right, so now we're going to take a break. Watch the Bronto run a little. Because it's scared it's going to die. And then we're going to beak it to death. All right, time to beak it to death. Woo, got a level. At least one. Bring it on. I'd like a level, please. Wait. Three. Three levels, 235 weight. We're going to get it to 250, and that'll be our starting base weight. Where are all those dodos? Honk! Make such funny noises when they're being destroyed. Oh, missed all of them that way. Honk. Honk. Didn't really get much out of that. What was that trike? Hey there, trike guy. 12? Bet you we could kill a trike with the pteranodon. In fact, I think that pteranodon's right now. I guess uh, not since we upped the, mo the melee damage on the server. Or maybe still. Pteranodons have been the most ballerific killers uh, over Argentavis for a little while now. Um, but their health's real low, and the stamina has a little bit to be desired. Barrel roll takes a lot, so it's hard to be like, yeah, that's that's what I want to bring out with me all the time. Level 16, what level are you? 48. I'm going to kill you, 48. How's it going? Your day just got a lot worse. Got a mean pteranodon on your tail. Oh, I missed? I'm going to run out of stamina. Oh, I just did. Oh, look at it go. Bye-bye, pteranodon guy. Could you land, please? Very upset with you right now. You are not cool enough to be in the cool guy club. Hey, what's up there, male compy? How you doing? Not so good anymore. He got slapped in the face with a wing. Definitely going to be able to kill this pteranodon. Since we've got some more staminas. And it's low level. Boom! Death to pteranodon. So, if I wanted to really... We've already spent a quite a, t a bit of time leveling up the uh, the Spino today. So I don't really have time for, like, a lot of leveling on this this guy. Girl? What are you? You're a girl. Okay. But we can probably get at least one more level out of it. Where are you? Come here. Still going through the trees, huh? Oh, prediction. Predicted where it was going to be. And it was dead. What is, What level are you? 28. Boom. Not for long. You're about to be level dead. That's right. Get a little bit more weight on there. 243. I think I'm going to leave it at that. And then the rest we're going to pump into movement speed for now. Um, I should be okay with 243. And you can see we've only got 137 weight on us right now. But it's just, you know, sometimes you're carrying a little bit more on you. And you want to be able to use your pteranodon. So, anyway. Wow, so we got a 116 Spino and a 120 pteranodon. Perfect aim today. So that's going to be it for today's episode, folks. If you like the episode, please press the like button. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. If you have anything to say, do it in the comments below. And as always... Be excellent to each other. Have a great day. See you later.